Welcome back. And in today's video, I'll be guiding you through the process on how you can customize the quick settings panel on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. So the first step is to open, is to swipe down to open the quick settings panel. Then from here, you want to tap on the edit icon. Next, you'll be asked how you want to edit it. So you can choose to edit the top part or you can choose to edit the full quick settings panel. So let's try it, start with editing the full quick settings panel. Then from here, you can see the current actions that you have added onto your quick settings panel at the top. And at the bottom, you have more actions or more buttons that you have available for you to add. So if you want to add an action to the quick settings panel, all you need to do is simply tap on it. So say, for example, we want to add microphone access, we would just tap on it like that. And you can see it's been added to my quick settings panel. So you can keep doing that for any other option that you prefer to add at the top, including live caption, live transcribe, always on display, even create note and Adobe Atmos. But if you find you want to remove actions from your quick settings panel, then all you need to do is simply type on the minus button next to each of any of the options. So say for example, we want to remove multi-control from quick settings. All we need to do is simply tap on the minus button like that and it will be removed. So you can do that for as many actions as you prefer that you don't want in your quick settings panel. But if you find you want to reset back to the default because you prefer that option or you want to go back and re-customize it, then you can just tap on reset. Then you click reset and it will go back to its default order. To move quick settings or to move the actions around, it's fairly simple. All you need to do is simply long press on an action and then you want to drag it to your preferred position. So you can move that there, you can move this to the top and it's up to you to decide how you want to arrange your quick settings panel. So once you've added and removed actions and you've rearranged them to your liking, you want to tap on done to save and apply the changes. So now when you go to quick settings, you should see all those changes that you've applied have been uh, added onto your quick settings panel. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.